<sighs> All right, boys, we're on the grind once more. We are um, at Boto's land, at the land today, and uh, we're gonna be doing a catch cleaning cook, either a squirrel or a hog, one of the two. And if I had to say, I'd say most likely a squirrel. Um, but it has been raining a lot, um, so there's water everywhere, and so we might see a hog, we might not, but like I said, we're out here doing a catch cleaning cook, and I figured I'd do the intro while I'm in the, in the truck, you know, driving there, just because I'm already kind of running late, and it's almost sun, sunset, and I want to get all this stuff out of the way, so by the time we get there, we can just go out there and, uh, you know, hunt, and uh, so yeah. Um, I guess we'll get back with you whenever we get up to, uh, you know, the barn and get out and, you know, get everything ready and stuff. So we'll see you then. Alright boys, we're going to be using the Marlin 22 today. If you want to see a review on this gun, just uh, let me know. Leave a comment in the, you know, comment section and I'll be happy to do one. I haven't really hunted with this thing on the channel too much, but hopefully you get to see, you know, some footage today. The, the Marlin 22. We're gonna start it in real quick. I'm pretty sure it's you know it's, it's pretty close to zero, but we're gonna make sure just before we head out there because I ain't trying to be missing no headshots, headshots, boys, headshots, nothing but headshots. Let's go. Howdy, sir. What you got there? Your target. Oh, okay.
All right, boys. We got ourselves a nice fox squirrel. You can see. Good headshot. Went in through somewhere right around here and exited right here. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera whenever I shot him, but he was looking straight at us, so pretty much went straight through his head and uh, good clean shot. Yeah, we're gonna probably get back in the stand and uh, wait until sunset, see if we see any hogs, and if not, we'll call it a day. No, 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 no. We have our squirrel. We didn't see any hogs, however, so. This one thing we're gonna be cleaning today. Got the hat off. Y'all y'all missed that. Uh, I wasn't recording, so here's what I did. Just pretty simple. So this was the tail, about right there. I made a cut right here, and uh, just grab the tail, pull, and the whole top half comes off. Then you just grab, you know, the scan right here. For the legs and just pull and that came all right off so what i did now is just i made a little cut right here between the two legs and pretty much just gonna, gonna cut everything else out that's what i'm talking about Alright boys, we're back in the kitchen. First things first, we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, next we have here, we have a bell pepper, and garlic, celery sticks, and some green onions. Cut some of this bell pepper. Probably don't need that much, but I don't know, we'll see. Let's get some of these onions. I've already rinsed everything off, so it should be clean. Next is the celery. Now we need to get the garlic. So we've gotten everything, uh, you know, chopped up and everything. It looks pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is we have some cream of mushroom soup. Just going to open this up real quick. And a bowl. There goes the oven. And uh, we're just going to mix this in here real quick. We're gonna get a half a cup of water or half a can and just fill it in. I think we're gonna want to get maybe even one more can of cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. All right, this still doesn't look like I kind of want it, so we're gonna put one more can of the mushroom in real quick. And hopefully this coming right looking better. All 
right, here's our squirrel. What we're gonna do now is we have some meat tenderizer. And we're just gonna sprinkle this on here. Because squirrel is kinda chewy. If you've you know if you if you've ever had squirrel, you know it's a little bit you know, it's not the tender, the most tender of the meats, so Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to we have some flour. I'm just gonna cover it in flour. So we got our swirl covered in the flour. Next thing we're gonna do, we have our dish. We're just gonna pour a little bit of this mixture that we made earlier in here. Should be good. We want about half in here. Let's spread it around real quick. We're gonna take our squirrel. We're just gonna cover the rest of it with the remainder. All right, so we have everything covered. It looks pretty good. And what we're gonna do now is just Stick it in the oven for about an hour, I'd say, and we'll see how it's cooking, and we'll check back in, uh, you know, whenever, in about an hour. All right, boys, we have about 25 minutes until the, you know, the, the squirrel is done, so we're going to go ahead and make some rice, get the fire going. we we'll do a cup of rice. That was about right. All right, we'll go ahead and get some water. We'll bring that to a boil. All right, how about? Two, maybe three tablespoons of butter. Toss that in there. Get some, uh, some salt. You don't need too much, just the, you know, a little bit, add flavor. And we're almost to a boil. Let's go ahead and turn this around a little bit. Looks to be boiling pretty good, so we're gonna turn this down to low. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And we should be good. <laughs> you see here, we've got 20 minutes left on the timer, so it should be about almost perfect timing. All right, so the timer just went off. Let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like. It looks done to me. Let's go ahead and check this rice real quick. The rice looks good. We are about to eat, boys. Get some rice. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that looks so good. Boys, I can't tell you how good this thing looks right now. I haven't eaten all day yet today either, and it's like 10 o'clock at night, so I'm starving. This thing is super tender. Y'all need to try this crap. I don't care what it is. Any kind of wild game. Um, this is actually a 
waterfowl like like a duck recipe, but I figured if it works for ducks, then it should work for you know squirrel. And honestly, I think it, I think it works better for squirrel than it does you know ducks. Bell pepper, garlic, green onions, and what else was it? Oh, celery. Two cups of cre cream of mushroom soup. One can of water. We used meat tenderizer for the squirrel, just a little bit, and then coated it in flour. Put it in the casserole dish, the pan, whatever you call it, and 400 degrees for an hour. I couldn't have asked for it to come out any better, you know. It actually exceeded my expectations, so I'll definitely be doing it again. And um, as far as the rice, all we did was one cup of rice, two cups of water, and then let that come to a boil, let it simmer for about an hour, or not, not an hour, for 20 minutes. So it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna finish eating. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like the, you know, the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna finish eating this good food, and we will see you in the next one.